Hi everyone, it's Zach with Pounter Research. Pounter posted their Lowe's webinar but unlisted it shortly after, as well as a new SEC filing for the company offloading shares of this penny stock. So looking at the SEC filing first, it's a statement of changes in beneficial ownership, but it's for Pounter as a company in regards to Rubicon Technology stock. So taking place on April 12 through 16, now they are very, very small transactions of around 52,000 shares total, and that's for $17,000. This is not news to me personally, considering they sold such a small amount, as well as the explanation of response showing these are open market sales. So I'm not sure who's actually looking into Rubicon or owns it, but I'd also consider this not news for them, but just wanted to make folks aware of these transactions still taking place. Well, Pounder probably does also get paid in shares here since it's a smaller company, and we'll see over time if they continue to just offload shares shortly like this or if they're going to do bigger, larger sales later on. Now, another small piece of news for today, Pounder actually posted their Lowe's webinar yesterday on their YouTube channel for those who missed it, and it was actually a public video at first for some time. But when visiting it today, I noticed it did become unlisted. Now, I don't see it as a red flag still. I actually think it makes a little bit of sense concerning if this is a true sales funnel. They'd rather get this link shared around a folks who are actually interested and not necessary for the wider public. As an unlisted video, as long as you have the link, it will still be available to watch, so you just won't be able to go onto Pounder's YouTube channel and find the video itself unless they make it public again later on. And that's what I'm thinking too. If someone who participated or someone at Pounder gets a lead that will work well with a customer service engine and wants to see the demonstration, then I think keeping it unlisted and not flooded by a bunch of views that aren't necessarily high quality for the sales funnel makes sense, if that's the route that they want to go, of course. So we'll see if this becomes the status quo for future webinars posted, but we got a quick one today. Just let me know your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next video.